Ah, here he is, the man with the legend. You okay, chef? I'm just like old. He's not as cool. Scusi. Scusa. Scusa? Scusa. Oh, scusi. That's a perfect uh, start for the video. Indeed. Donato, TTP want to fix up. Mamma mia. Okay, ciao everybody. This week we are in Italy and we are celebrating the food that my partner right here, Donato Poto, grew up with. So Poto is his last name and that rhymes with what? It rhymes with Toto. And who is Toto? Toto is the little kid from Cinema Paradiso. And Donato, when he was a baby, he looked exactly like Toto. You won't be able to tell him apart. So we are in the town of Castelcivita. And where is that? In the province of Salerno. And where is that? In Campania, the last city of the Amalfi Coast. And so, you know, Providence is known for fish, but in the Poto household growing up, there wasn't a lot of fish, right? right? Only anchovies. Yeah, and why is that? <laughs> because uh, we were growing lots of animals, pigs, rabbits, chicken, and a bunch of other fun things, lamb, and lots of vegetables. And once in a while, go and fish too. Yeah. And fun. also, your father doesn't eat fish. And my father, you're right. Just like it, Michael's father, <laughs> yeah. both of our fathers didn't eat fish. So our menu today, rather than looking to the sea for inspiration, we're looking to the hills of Salerno. And we're trying to recreate dishes that Donato grew up with. So, uh, very simply, we're starting out with a, a, a small portion of a cavatelli with a homemade sausage ragu because your mom would have made the sausage, right? Correct. And if mom, if you guys had a particularly good year on the farm, maybe you would have some truffles, right? Or maybe a friend would... So we put, we put some black truffle in there for you as well. And this grazie, one, grazie. And then we have lamb chops. And what's the preparation here, Donato? It's called scottadito. And what is that? You mean? basically grill it like one minute on each side they should be hot enough where your hands getting a little burned. And that's why we call them scottadito. So burn, thing, burn the fingers, that's what I mean. So with that, we're serving polenta from our friends at the Tehachapi Grain Project. Beautiful uh, dent corn that they have milled for us. And uh, we made a very rich and delicious polenta with lots of rosemary and garlic and chili flakes and olive oil and finished with Parmesan. And, uh, and then we have a beautiful ragu of mushrooms and when Donato was growing up, one of his favorite pastimes and one of the family pastimes was to what? Go and forage mushrooms in the mountains, lots of them. Come to Castelcivita, I will guide you. So in that ragu of mushrooms, we have porcinis, we have chanterelles, we have maitake mushrooms, and we have oyster mushrooms. Uh, the porcinis, we bought these mushrooms like earlier in the spring and we preserved them uh, in hopes of serving them to you here at Providence. But then what happened? COVID happened, and so we're closed. So we gotta use them for something. So beautiful preserved porcinis from the state of Washington that we put in there. To eat with that, uh, with the scotadito, we also have a little arugula salad, which very simply, I mean, in Italy, an arugula salad is what? It's just arugula, maybe a little bit of cheese, some salt, some olive oil, some lemon juice, and basta, it's a salad. And then for dessert, we have Gianduia Budino. By the way, that was the name of my prom date when I was in high school. Then we have Bomboloni. Bomboloni are uh, sort of like a, almost like a fried donut hole. And this one is filled with a pastry cream, which is enriched with mascarpone cheese. To eat with the uh, Jean Duy Boudino, we have some hazelnut biscotti. And then Mac, our pastry chef, made some beautiful grissini with Parmesan and black pepper and lots of olive oil for our bread service this week. So there's really not much to do on this one. We've kind of taken care of all the hard work. All you gotta do is get everything hot again. So for the lamb, set your oven to 350, maybe 400 degrees, pop it in there. The lamb is already marinated and grilled, and it's pretty much rare. So if you wanna keep it rare, just reheat it for maybe five minutes, that's plenty. And then the cavatelli, we can reheat that really quickly, just on the stove. If you like, you could throw it in the microwave. Who might I tell you how to reheat your food? And then we provided a little bit of Parmesan cheese, of course, you got to finish the pasta with Parmesan, right? Certo. 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 Which, what does that mean? Of course. Of course. <laughs> so you're going you're gonna to finish the pasta a little bit of that Parmesan, mix it all together. Seasoning should be just right. And that's it. You're, that's going to be your first course. Delicious, lovely. Um, the, pork, the pork sausage that's in the ragu we made here at the restaurant, we marinated it last week with lots of garlic and spices and red wine, and then we let it sit over the weekend. We ground it this morning, turned it into this beautiful ragu with uh, cavolo nero, or black kale, which is one of my favorite ingredients. And then uh, there's a little touch of cream in there, uh, white wine and tomato paste. Just very simple, 
rustic, just like mama, no? Exactly. Okay, perfect. <laughs> so let's, we're just gonna reheat this really quickly. It'll take two seconds, I'll be right back. It's going to be so good. <laughs> Buon appetito. <laughs> so, you can hear it's starting to, starting to warm up, starting to sizzle. Gonna be delicious. We can dress our little arugula salad, which we're gonna serve with the, uh, which we're gonna serve with the lamb. Just a little lemon juice. A little bit of good olive oil. Simplicity. Simplicity on what? On ingredients. Great basic, ingredients. basic, basic ingredients, but the best and very simple. You don't need a lot to make a great dish. That's something that is difficult to learn as a chef. And I think great Italian chefs, they have a firm grasp with that concept. Um, and we definitely try to replicate that with this meal. Just something like very, very simple, good ingredients, something that's simple and delicious that you could throw together on your own. But with our help, it's even easier. So there we go. The pasta is nice and hot now. We're ready to go. I'm gonna put a little bit of Parmesan in there. I love Parmesan. One of my favorite things. Just stir it around a little bit like that. And that's just how the pasta should be. Not too saucy. The sauce should just coat all of the noodles. And by the way, this is hand, uh, homemade uh, cavatelli that we've done here. Which, when, when Donato and I were talking about what this menu might be, he, said, he suggested that we use cavatelli. Why is that, Donato? My mother used to make cavatelli all the time. So now I will put just a little bit more parm on top. We already put some inside. Let's put a little bit more on top because it's just delicious. And then maybe we finish with a little bit of olive oil. Just like that. And why don't we check on my land? I bet it's ready. So five minutes. Looks nice and hot. So underneath the lamb chops, you have these, these little pieces of uh, polenta there. So there's the polenta. the lamb chops cotadito. And then we can just spoon all of these mushrooms in this. There's, there's gonna be a little bit of juice in the bottom of the, of the tray as well, from the, the mushrooms themselves, of course, and also a little bit of the juice from the lamb. And you wanna put all of that on the plate, every bit of it, because that's, that's delicious. And you know, much like, like when you're cooking in Italy, especially like, you know, simple food like this, Unlike the French, you know, the Italians would not prepare a sauce. It would just be the, the juices from the meat augmented with a little bit of really good olive oil. And that would be it. Because you don't have time to make a sauce, right? Maybe a little bit of salt on the lamb. And there we go. So that's it. Um, that's our meal from today, straight from the hills of Castel Civito, Donato Poto's hometown. I want to thank you again for ordering uh, from the Providence on Voyage series. We'll see you again next week. Until then, wear a mask, be well, and stay safe. Thank you very much, Los Angeles. Grazie mille. Buon appetito. Grazie Michael for recreating this menu. Grazie mamma. Buon appetito. It's going to be so good. Ciao. Ideo mare quanto è bello. Spiratando sentimento. Next week. Next week. Check it out. Check it out.